No, I lost. No. <laughs> well, today's been very boring today. I had no visitors today. Um, but yeah. I know what I'm doing. Um, let's check the phone, see if I got any phone calls today. Hmm. Well, I got no phone calls today. Oh, it's been very quiet working at the women's state prison. Hmm. I've been working at this women's penitentiary for about two years now. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see what else is going on today because um, I gotta get home. Um, my grand, my big grandbaby wants to see me, so yeah, I gotta get home. So I better go ahead and get things ready for today. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, rats! I was about to go home. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I'll be home soon, shortly. Okay. Bye. Well, my daughter was calling me. She wanted me to come home. I'll be home as soon as I can. Oh, I'm getting another phone call. Hello, Jewel Haven State Prison for Women. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Chief. How are you? Oh, good. I'm... Yeah, um... So you're coming back to town soon? Okay, Warden. Thank you. So, so Warden, Chief, you're coming back to town? I thought you said you were going out of town for the past few days and you left me in charge. Look, no, 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 you don't have to worry about coming back. I got it all here. Oh, right, yeah, if I'm an assistant one, you're out of town for the past few days. You don't need to worry about what's happening, okay? Since I'm the assistant one, I'll make sure everything goes smoothly around here. You just enjoy your vacation. Who are you concerned about? A new inmate. Who? Ruby Miller. Oh, a defo that defo mate I heard about? You want me to go check on her? You feel like she's up to no good? Of course I can do that. Don't worry about coming back in town. Enjoy your vacation. I'll talk to you later. I, I promise I will check on her. Okay, bye-bye. That's odd. So Ruby Miller. I know who she is. She is on. She is awaiting to be executed in the electric chair because she killed a little girl. I read that her case is pretty disturbing, but you know what? Let's go pay little Ruby a visit. Maybe... She can't be that bad. I, I get that she... I actually known her. I actually was Ruby's mentor. I actually know who Ruby is. Nobody knows this, but I actually was her science teacher before. When Ruby was a little girl, she was in my class. She did have some... Nobody knows this, and the psychologist in court didn't know this, but Ruby did have some mental issues. It's no excuse for what she did, but she did have some mental issues, and she wasn't raised properly. But yeah, I better go see Ruby. I haven't talked to her in a long time. But yeah, let's go see Ruby, see how she's doing. Okay, I got the keys in my pocket. Let's use the key and unlock this. Okay, is Ruby housing this death row unit? Wait a minute. They told me she was housing Supermax death row. Why were they housing Supermax? I guess the crime she committed was so dangerous. Okay, they put her in the Supermax death row somehow because she was considered super dangerous. Gotta use the keys to open this. Oh. There she is, reading a book in her cell. Knock on the door. Excuse me, Miss Miller. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, um, there's nothing I'm hiding in my cell. Like Ruby. Um, I get your new inmate here. Yeah, I just arrived last week. You arrived here last week. Yeah. How are things going for you here? Um, pretty terrible. I've been isolating myself most of the time. It's very boring, but yeah, it's so boring. Well, Ruby, I, I don't know if you remember me or not, but I actually was your science teacher once. You, my science teacher? Yeah, remember me, Miss Karen? Oh, wait a minute. I recognize you. You were my science teacher. I was. But anyway, I'll be retiring next year. After all, I am turning 73. You turn... But yeah, I, after all, I am turning 73, so this is going to be my last year working at this prison. Oh, please don't retire. I'd enjoy having you work, Ruby. Just because I was a science teacher doesn't mean I'm going to be friendly, okay? As a corrections officer, we're not friends with inmates, okay? We have... we Our job is to make sure that inmates are not doing anything wrong. We can't be friends. I'm sorry, but if you're an inmate and I'm an officer, we can't be. Inmates and officers just don't get along. I'm sorry. 
Now, Ruby, I'd like to search your cell. I'm not hiding anything, I promise. Let's see here. Hmm. What are these pills? Oh, those are medications I'm taking. Those are medications I'm taking. Hmm, medications you're taking. And what's by the toilet here? I had a little accident this morning. Wow, you didn't even flush the toilet. Gosh. Toilets broke? Well, you didn't tell anybody? Nobody listened to me. I'm isolated down here most of the time anyway. I get neglected. How can you be neglected? You have all this nice stuff. Are you kidding me? They actually allow duffo emits like you all to get nice stuff. Yeah, I purchased it all of my own money, but my cell was, I was bored. And plus, yeah. What are those medications you're taking? I, it's for my mental disorder to keep me under control. Look at this. You say your life is hell here, but they let you have calculated paper and some books. This is a nice cell. I want to just take a nap in this cell. May I take a nap? Can I sleep in your bed? Sure, if we can trade places and I can go home. Sorry, just kidding. I'm not allowed to do that. I could get a red. I could get fired for that. Anyway, Ruby, follow me to the yard. Um, it is yard time, so yeah, come with me, Ruby. It is yard time. Oh, thank God. I haven't been out of my cell all week. And besides, my hair is all itchy and greasy. Can I get a shower while I'm at it? Yeah, I'll make sure you get a shower and everything. Just come with me. I'm going to take you to the yard for your free time. Ruby, I know I'm technically not allowed to bring you to the courtyard because technically you're a deaf roommate and you're considered extremely dangerous, but I'm going to make an exception just because I don't think it's fair that you've been locked in that cell all that time. Yeah, it's terrible. Anyway, Ruby, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes? Like, what kind of question would you like to ask me? Ruby, I want to know why you killed that little girl. Just explain why you did that. Like, why would you do that? I wouldn't kill her, though. Like, you know I wouldn't. Ruby, look, if you want any chance of living or getting off death row at all, you might as well confess. If I confess, they could probably put me to death. Well, why would you even do it in the first place? <sighs> look. I didn't know it was coming. I had some mental breakdown. So you don't want to talk at all? I just, I didn't know what was coming for me. I just, I didn't know what was coming. Like, I just had super, super bad day. You had a super bad day. Yeah, I tried to go in the city. Okay. And this woman would not let me in. So I got so mad. And then, did you see the girl at all? I did take her home. I took the girl home. She was in the way. I was on my way home. I ran over because she wouldn't look where she was on. Well, why would you run her over like that? I don't know, but I was just so angry that I just was done with her. So you killed her? Look, I was mad. I lost my temper. And that's all I'm going to say, okay? Okay? Why won't you just admit what you did? Well, for one, I'm a defo inmate. I'm still on my appeal process. I'm worried anything I could say could be used against me. Well, probably a good idea not to say anything at all. It's probably a good idea to hold your tongue if you don't want your appeals to fail. But I just want to know why you did it. I can't give you that answer right now, okay? I just can't. I wish I could, but since I'm... Since... Because of my appeals and because I'm, because I'm on my appeal process, because of my appeal, I can't talk about the crime, okay? Why don't you want to talk about the crime because of your appeal? Because I don't want to be executed. I'm worried if I say anything about it, I, my appeals might fail because of it. I don't know for sure that you're guilty. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I just want to appeal my sentence. I want to get out of here because I want to go home. Like, I don't belong here. If you want me to help you, you might as well confess. No, I need my lawyer. Well, your crime was so gruesome, I heard, that no one even wanted to defend you. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'd like to go back to my cell now. I'm pretty bored. Look, Miss Miller, if you can't cooperate with me, I won't be able to help you. You won't be able to help me? I just been bullied lately, like, I'm the only woman here on death row. I'm, I can't even interact with any of the other women here because I'm a death row inmate. There's not even, I wish there was another woman on death row that would join me, so that way I am not bored. So you think it's, you just want someone else joining just to get you not bored? That's selfish. 
I'm just bored. Like, I, I want to be moved in the general population. Look, I cannot move you there. You're a defo inmate because you're considered extremely dangerous. We have to put you in administrative segregation for everyone's safety and for your own safety. Because probably another inmate would probably want to kill you after which a fellow inmate probably would want to kill you because of what you did to that child. But why would a fellow inmate want to kill me? Because some inmates love children. And if they found out you killed that child, they probably would murder you. So, and because you're considered dangerous, we don't know if you're going to hurt them or not. So, that's why we're going to put you in your own unit. So that way, they're safe from you and you're safe from them. For you, their safety and your safety. I'm just been bored. Well, I just, banged, I just rather, rather they go ahead and execute me immediately. I'm just sick of living here. You haven't even been here for a month, and you're already getting bored of death row. You're going to be here for probably years before you're executed. Well, I wish I could just some fi find a way to get out of here. Well, you can exhaust your appeals. Oh, I, I'll do that. But you'll get executed. I don't know what I'm going to do. The point is, I'm innocent. I didn't do this. You didn't kill. And who was your boyfriend, by the way? His name's John Miller. And you think John Miller did it? John Miller's my boyfriend. He's actually my ex-husband. We don't know anyone named John Miller, and I don't think that's his name you mentioned in court. Wasn't, wasn't he, didn't he have a different name you mentioned? Yeah, I just, no, you just change your story every time. Ruby, all I can say is good luck not getting executed, because they're probably going to execute you anyway. I just want to go home. I'm going to go home. I know I'm getting out of here. You think you, you look, you killed a six-year-old girl, and you think you're going to go home? You think you're leaving? Even if they don't execute you, they're probably never going to let you leave this prison. You'll probably spend the rest of your life here and die here. Well, I'm looking at my appeal process, and I know I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Ruby says she's innocent, claiming that she was framed, saying her boyfriend had did the crime. But the evidence showed that Ruby had used a chainsaw. A gas chamber. Prosecutors say Ruby allegedly kidnapped the child and took her into a gas chamber where she allegedly killed her. The victim, Mackenzie Williams, died of toxic substances found in her body. The body was also chainsawed and cut up with a chainsaw, the alleged weapon that Ruby had used to finish up the crime. There was blood found all over the backyard. I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. I know I didn't kill her. I know I'm innocent and I was framed. I didn't kill her. Not at all. Even if they execute me, I know I didn't do it because I'm innocent. I would not kill the girl. Just because her body was found at my house and just because it was cut up with a chainsaw doesn't mean I did it. What evidence do you have to prove that I did it? I get the girl was with me at the time, but what evidence do they have to prove it? I'm innocent. I was framed. Like, there was no evidence to prove whatsoever. Now the state of Bloxburg may execute me. But guess what? I don't care. They'll, ex they'll execute a freaking innocent woman if they're doing that. Because the state of Bloxburg is probably about to execute an innocent lady anyway. I didn't kill that girl. I know I didn't. I would never do anything like that. I know. Like, yeah, they're, they're lying. I didn't kill anybody. I know for a fact that I didn't kill anybody because just because I had a criminal history of stalking people doesn't mean I would kill anybody. Like, Ruby Miller would never do anything like that. Like, you know, I wouldn't. The state just has false evidence against me. And you know what? If they execute me, they execute me. I'm not afraid of death. Death is the easy way out. If I just don't want to be living in this hell of prison. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's, it's just absolutely awful. Death row is horrible. They lock you in a cell every day. They keep you in a cage like an animal. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. You're never let out of your cell except to take a shower or to go in the yard. Life on death row is horrible. It's just horrible. It's horrible. Like, you know what I mean? It's just horrible. Being in this prison is horrible. I have... I've been here for almost a month and it's horrible i don't belong here i belong at home i don't belong here in this cell it's just absolutely horrible it is horrible being here like you know i wouldn't do anything like that like literally i wouldn't do anything like that 
to that little girl. I wouldn't. I'm innocent. 100% innocent. And here I am sitting in a cell rotting every day, 24-7. Every day, 24-7. I know I'll be leaving soon. I just know it. I'll be going home soon, and it'll all be over. I know I'll be getting out of here soon. I just know it. I'll be leaving soon enough anyway. Dead or alive, I'll be out of here.